rise. Judge Bundy B. Court is now in session. Judge, this is the case of the parts. Thank you. You all may be seated. Okay, Mr. Parks. Yes, ma'am. Looks like you brought this case before the court. What's going on? I just found out my wife was just left her corporate job for a cashier job. I don't know why. Maybe it's because like she wants to get out of the payments of what she's doing. Payments of what? Child support, ma'am. Okay. We have a child t together that we had in our marriage, and it's like, and all of a sudden, I just found out just recently that she left her corporate job to what? Take what? A couple of dollar paying job. How can you do this to us? How can you Excuse do this to me, us? sir. Sir, do not address her. Address me. Yes, ma'am. I do. She, apologize. she. I mean, obviously, she can't help your situation. Yes. That's why you're here, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so continue. I don't know. It's just like when I found out. It's just like I was just shocked. I didn't know like how else to express it, but we had a child together. How old is the child? This child is like five years old, ma'am. Is she paying anything in child yes, support? She's paying for the medical bills and she's paying for the support as well. Medical support, you mean? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Is there a reason yes. why you're not paying to support this child? Um, first of all, um, I left my corporate paying job and um, after our divorce, I know he mentioned I'm his wife. Um, correction, I'm his ex-wife. Okay. Um, Congratulations. Thank Continue. You. Um, so I, we left that, I left my job and um, the reason why I left it, and I did do it intentionally, I felt that it was not right. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You intentionally left your job? Yes, ma'am, I did. I had enough money and savings to still provide for my child and still provide medical insurance. So I felt that, you know, the stress of my divorce um, wasn't inhibiting me from performing my job. Okay, okay. First of all, that's a different court. We're not here to talk about anything that went on with the divorce. I just need to know about the money that you're making, because obviously the child lives with you. Is that correct, yes, sir? Yes, ma'am. So you have all this money in saving. Let's talk about <clears throat> it. Okay. Let's How talk much about did you make at your last job? Um, I annually seventy thousand. Seventy thousand dollars. Okay. And that's your only job? Uh, it was my only job. Now I work at a convenience store. Doing Head what? clerk. Doing what? Head clerk. Head clerk. Okay. How much are you making now? Uh, about thirty thousand a year. Thirty thousand. And are you? Wh what type of education do you have? Uh, I have my master's. You have a master's degree, and you're a head clerk. Yes, ma'am. Again, the um, stresses of the divorce inhibited me from doing my job. Okay, don't say that again. You already said that once, and we moved on from that. So, you're now making thirty thousand dollars a year, and you think that I should base child support on thirty thousand dollars instead of the seventy that you intentionally? Stop working at? Well, that is my annual <coughs> income now. 30, That's your 000. annual income now. When did you stop working at your corporate job? A year ago. A year ago. How long were you there? I was there for about eight years. Eight years Just with a master's degree at a head clerk position. What's the qualification to work at that job? It's such as do you high need school a diploma. degree? You just need a high school diploma. High school diploma. Yes, and you have a master's degree. I'm not about to play with you. I'm not about to play with you. $70,000 a year. You said you covered a child on health insurance. How much is that? $300 a month. $300 a month. Ma'am, I'm going to make you pay child support. You, I, you came, obviously, in this courtroom well, to waste my time. I have a question. How come I have to get a corporate job? How come he can't get a corporate job? He can get a job, but the child lives with him, right? Well, yes, and I think the reason why the, ch the child is even with him to begin with is because, of, well, this is a different court. Never mind, like you said. Okay, thank you. So, moving right along, $70,000 a month. I mean, a year, excuse me. I put your... I'm not making $70,000 a month anymore. I'm making $30,000 a year now. You're, work, you're, working, you're making $30,000 a year now, but ma'am, you intentionally work at a job that pays you less. And you think that you're going to come in this courtroom and get me to order that you pay a less amount when you're capable of making the $70,000 with a master's degree? You made that up. I don't know. Emotional um, distress me, is me, intentional. Excuse me. Emotional distress. I need you to go see a doctor. Okay. So your gross is five thousand eight hundred and thirty-three dollars and thirty-three cents, based on that seventy thousand dollars. I'm going to give you a credit for the health insurance. Okay. The three hundred dollars that you stated brings your net to four thousand four hundred and ninety-seven dollars and ninety-eight cents. How many children? Do One. You know? One child. Okay. Twenty percent. $899.60 is going to be your monthly child support obligation that you're going to pay 
each month to this man. You looking confused, and I don't understand why you looking. I'm not looking like confused. This. You said what you're saying, and I'm okay. I'm taking it all in. Oh, okay. Congratulations. Thank now, you. Now, do you have anything further? No, ma'am. That's it. Yes, ma'am. That's it from you. Okay. If there's nothing further, you all are dismissed. All right. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Hey guys, it's Vonda Bailey, and I'm coming to you as the lawyer this time. We have arrived at the educational portion of our show. I just wanted to go over what this segment will cover and how the different scenarios interact with child support under Texas law. So I want to talk to you all about the episode that you just watched. I no longer work at a job, so I make less money. Can my child support go down? Well, under Texas law, you still could be obligated to pay the same amount that you made from your previous employer. That's right. There is a specific portion of the Texas Family Code that says, if the court finds that you are intentionally underemployed, that you can be ordered to pay that same amount of child support that you used to pay at your previous employer. In the, in the episode, you heard her say she had a master's degree. She was making a whole lot more money, and now she's intentionally working somewhere making less money. Well, guess what? Based on that testimony, she was ordered to pay that same amount of child support. Do you know of anyone who's experienced a similar situation? Be sure to subscribe to our channel, and make sure you comment below. You never know. Their story may end up as a scenario on our show. After all, these kids aren't raised on air alone. Support Court with Judge Vonda B.